see everybody. I'm going to make a simple meal today. Nothing real um, hard to make. I'm going to be putting a roast together. First of all, I like to put the roast in. I put my onion in, some garlic powder, and season all in there. And I cook my roast first, and then I'll add my carrots and my potatoes later. Real simple, not hard, but I just thought I'd make a video to show anybody who doesn't know. Okay, we'll get this together. Okay, got my onion in there, and um, I would like I like shredding my onions up, but my mom she likes to eat the onions, so I'll just do it like that. Um, and I'll just eat around it. The flavor is really what we like anyway. So then I put some garlic powder in here. Put some garlic powder. I like a lot. So a lot in there. And then some season all. I don't know why I don't open this ahead of time. Alright, so get some season all in there. Like a lot. So then I'm going to need just to put a little bit of water in here and plug it up. And I got this on high. I love this crock pot. Um, I'm going to put some water in here and I'm going to let it cook. And then I'll show you later when I add my potatoes and my carrots. You don't want to put too much water because you just want to, you don't want to have a lot, a lot of juice in your roast. Hold on a minute, I'll get some water. I'll show you about what to put in there. Okay, got me some water to put in here. And that's about what I'm going to put. Um, that way it can move the onion down. Um, just have enough to cook. And if we need to put more, we'll put more. But most likely we won't have to. I'll put the lid on here. Let it cook for a while. It's going to cook. Pretty big roast. It's going to cook a while. And I got it on high. But yeah. And then once the roast is done, you'll know it's done because you know you'll be able to shred it up real good. But um, then that's when I add my potatoes and my carrots and get my carrot my taters done. I don't like to put my potatoes in right away because if you I feel I found out you put the taters in right now, then your taters is just really mushy. Um, before the end of the day and I don't really like that. I kind of like my potatoes to be done but I like you know the chunk of the potato. That's just how I like it. And I'm gonna be, like I said I'm going to be using canned carrots. If you're going to use like real whole baby carrots or real carrots then I suggest that um, when your meat is almost done you go ahead and put your carrots in. But if you're going to use canned carrots like I'm going to you can wait till your meat's done to put your carrots and your potatoes in at the same time. All right, I'll be back in a little while. I'll show you how to what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, it's now almost three o'clock. This has been on since twelve. It's getting done. It's not nowhere tender enough though. Still cooking. Still got a lot of water, so it's still good. Let it cook a little bit longer, and then we'll put the, um, I'll break it up, and we'll put the potatoes in it and the carrots in it. So far, so good. Smells delicious. Alright, it is almost 4 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and cut my roast up, and then put it back in there. Um, it's still, that way it'll help. I was wanting it to shred, but I'm going to cut it up and get it back in the pan and put my potatoes and my carrots in there. Got jelly green giant carrots. Alright, I got my roast cut up. It cut up pretty good. It's, it's pretty tender, but like I said, it'll finish cooking some more. Got a really good taste. I'm going to put it in there and put the taters and the carrots in. Okay, I've got my roast back in there. I still got the juice, which is going to be good. I'm going to drain my, um, carrots before I put them in there and put my taters in there. Okay, got my carrot, my uh, taters in there. I'm going to kind of stir this up a little bit. Put them down in there. The best, they're going to cook. Mama likes 
Mama cut them for me because I have trouble on my wrist. But she likes to cut them like um, French fry style French fries. I'll put my carrots in there. Two carrots. All right. I'll let this cook a while. And it'll cook down. All right. I'll be back. Okay, I'm just trying to check on it. It's 5.30. And now this has been on. Move on. Take the taters. See if they're done. Okay. They seem to be done. Now there's a few of them that's a little hard. Still, so. Leave that in there just a little while longer. Just a few taters. I don't know, actually. No, I think it is done. There's a few taters that need to be a little bit done. But overall, it's really good. Good and done. Alright. Well, I hope you like this recipe. Um, I think we wait about five more minutes or so and we're going to get us a plate. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But, yep, this is how I cook my roast all day long. I like it like that. I like my taters to still be a little big when I eat. My carrots kind of mushing up. I don't like them to get too mushy. But, that tater's done. This tater a little bit. Yeah, it's done. Just a little bit longer on the few taters, but otherwise it's done. Alright, well there you go. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.